Hey guys, it's Kim here and I've hit 250,000 subs, oh my god! Thank you so much everyone who's helped me get to this mark. Now, a while ago I promised that when I'd hit quarter of a million, I'd answer some of your questions about who I am, what I'm doing, what's that smell. So here we go, I've picked some of your questions from my um, subreddit. Um, if you haven't signed up to my subreddit, check out the link in the video description below, it's all nice over there, come say hi. I've enlisted some of the Yogs casters to help me answer them. Um, so without any further ado, take it away, Nalzi. Question number one. Who are you? I'm Kim. Hello. Well, that's not good enough for you there. You know, just, that's all you really need to know. Oh, all right, okay. Several years ago, I started my professional life as an editorial assistant on official PlayStation 2 magazine. When that magazine shut down because, you know, people stopped playing the PS2, I jumped onto titles such as the PSP Guidebook and CBG Presents, PSM3 and Xbox World 360, before working as a video editor on an interactive PlayStation show called First Play, which you could pay for and then download straight onto your PS3. But then that eventually changed and became Access TV, where I not only worked behind the camera, but in front of it too. So while I presented the odd review, as well as filming events and editing bits of the show, I continued to do the odd bit of writing for magazines such as Official PlayStation Magazine, Games Master, Games Radar, and PC Gamer. At this point, I went from being a full-time video editor to a freelance video editor, meaning I could split my time between making videos for Access TV and uh, game trailers for Paradox Interactive, including this lovely dwarf one here, before taking on some editing work with the Yogs cast. That was around October of 2012, and by the time it came to March 2013, Lewis offered me a full-time contract as part of the editing team. And so here I am today. And now for question number two. What's with your accent? It's all over the place. Mm. Okay, now question three. How tall are you? And be honest now, I, I bet you're really tall. I bet you're like seven feet tall, and there's a bunch of camera tricks and CGI to make you seem short, like in Lord of the Rings. I am precisely five foot. That's one meter 52 centimeters. And for reference, here's some other things that are also 152 centimeters. This piece of string. Five large shoes laid end to end. Me, standing on my head. That's just great. And question four. No, really, what is with the accent? Oh, all right. But to answer this question, we have to go back through time and space. Many, many moons ago, I was born in England. My father is English and my mother is straight Chinese Malaysian, meaning her ancestors immigrated from China to Malaysia. Immediately after being born, my ma took me back to Malaysia and then my epic journey around the world began. Since then, because of my father's job, I've lived in Penang, Norway, Aberdeen, Falkirk, uh, Hull, Venezuela, Colombia, Shanghai, Milton Keynes, and more recently, Liverpool and Bath. So, I've grown up surrounded by a wide variety of accents. As a result, my accent now changes on a daily basis, often mimicking whoever I'm around. In all honesty, I have zero control over this thing, and I really have no idea what accent is currently operating. Is this English? I don't know. Is this English? Question five. So what kind of things do you do outside the office um, when you're not making videos and stuff? So, when I'm not capturing games, writing scripts, planning content, panicking about how there aren't enough hours in the day. Um, here are a few things I get up to in my free time. Grow vegetables. Read comic books. Watch horror movies and get too scared to go upstairs. Look at photos of red pandas. Fail at going to the gym. Obsess about Benedict Cumberbatch. And clean up after Oshawott. And question number eight. Do you speak any other languages? Ni hao, wo de ming se ting pali, je pale un petit peu de français. Yo hablo espagnol tambien. Arigato gozaimasu. Question 15. If you could interview anybody in the games industry, who would it be? I've been pretty lucky to interview quite a few people already, including Street Fighter's Yoshinori Ono, Tekken's Katsuhiro Harada-san, and Final Fantasy's Motomo Tariyama-san and Yoshinori Kitaze. But I'd still love to interview Mr. Ken Levine or Hironobu Sakaguchi. Ken Levine because I want to understand what's going on in that handsome head of his, and Sakaguchi because he's the creator of Final Fantasy. And in all honesty, I just want to hug him and hold on to him forever and ever and ever and ever. Or, you know, at least until he gets awkward or something. Question 17. Do you have the balls? Testes. Yes. 
Okay, question 51. If you could pick three game series to play for the rest of your life, what would they be? If you had to like, take them on a desert island, and that was it. You had electricity and stuff. Um, <laughs> like a generator or something, and you could like burn coconut trees and stuff. Be efficient, like a geothermal thing. Okay. Now, this is a tough one. But I think you already know at least one of the answers. First up, Final Fantasy. Because as someone who's completed Final Fantasy 6, 9 and 12 several times already, I could happily lose myself there entirely. And also it means I'd get Final Fantasy 14, which is already consuming my life. Secondly, it'd have to be the Legend of Zelda series, mostly because I have an unholy crush on Link. Seriously guys, I found some fanfiction I wrote the other day, Jesus Christ. And finally, and I'm cheating a little bit between the two here because I really can't decide, um, but it's either going to be the Silent Hill franchise or Persona. I mean, even if it was just Silent Hill 2 that I got to play forever because I, I really, I cannot get enough of that game. I've played it so many times now and I still keep going back because I just love the atmosphere. I love the mythos of the whole place and I love the monsters and how messed up everyone is. Um, yeah, I could quite happily play that one forever. And Persona, because I love Persona 3, I love Persona 4, and the older Shin Megami Tensei games as well. I just love that kind of school kid facing monsters and, and you know, again, the humanness of it all and kind of dealing with everyone's day-to-day -day problems. I think that's just fantastic and I could, I could honestly play those games forever. And finally, the 110th question. Kim, who do you get on with most in the Yogs cast? Blatantly, not me, because I'm a massive wanker. I like to think I get on with everyone pretty well here, and um, it's a pretty close-knit team, so I know that if I ever had a problem, I could totally rely on everyone to help me out. Uh, hey Lewis, I was just playing if you have a moment. I, um, I, I really, really don't, Kim, I've got a, oh, sorry, have you not done that thing I asked you to do, the, the no, video thing? I, yeah, you really yeah, need to go on, do that, Kim, Kim Lewis doesn't that. have time for this I, at the I, moment. I need, I need help! Get out of here. Out. Out? Okay. Out! Okay! <laughs> Stop. Hammer time. Hey guys, um, I was just wondering, uh, can you... Uh, Simon, I just, I need your advice on something. I was just wondering... Oh, fuck! On a serious note, guys, I just really want to say thank you so much. I mean, it's been absolutely insane. I never really thought that I would get to uh, 250k subs. I never thought it would happen this fast. You know, when I set up my channel, I just wanted to kind of have fun with it and just carry on talking games with everyone, which is, you know, something that I just love doing and could do endlessly. Um, so thank you so much for your support. Thank you for being so welcoming and so nice to me. And thanks for all your fan art and for your letters and everything like that. And um, I hope to see you all in the future. And if you ever see me at a convention or anything like that, come over and give me a hug because I'm all about giving out the hugs. So thank you again so much for all your support. And uh, hopefully I'll see you when I hit 500.